Hi there, it's Fiona here again from Inspired Living and today I'm going to be sharing some of my um, lipstick tips for winter with you and also some of the shades that I'm wearing at the moment. Now I do find that my lips get very dry in winter so it is definitely uh, vital for me to wear a lip balm or medicated lip highs underneath my lipstick um, or even when I'm not wearing lipstick to actually wear lip highs so my lips don't get dry. And it can also be helpful to use a primer underneath your lipstick that, of course, is personal choice, or some people use a dab of concealer or um, foundation. So, yes, that you can do, obviously, um, if you want to, which I'm now ready. I've done all my other makeup, so it's just my lipstick, and then I'm ready to go. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is lip pencil. This is a MAC lip pencil in Spice. And I found it's a really nice color. It goes with um, most browns and, and pinks and even a nude. But I've also worn it with red. So it is very versatile, a very versatile color. So we will just do the line first. Obviously wearing a lip liner helps um, the lipstick not bleed, especially if you're wearing darker colors. So. And also what I like to do is color in a bit inside the line. Which just gives that extra bit of color underneath your lipstick. So if you are wearing your lipstick and either talking or the function or something like that where you're um, drinking coffee or wine, that if your lipstick does come off, you still have a bit of color underneath. So as I said, that is the uh, MAC Lip Pencil in Spice and um, great color. So the next I'm moving on to the lipsticks that I've been using or that I use quite a bit. Um, I am a bit of a Maybelline girl. I like their lipsticks. I like the moisture that it gives you. And I do have quite sensitive lips and I find that they don't irritate um, the lips that much. So we're first going to start with um, Toffee Tango, which is a um, bronzy color. You can see there. It's got a slight bit of pink in it. But um, I'll just apply it so you can see what it looks like. Now this is a color that you could wear during the day if you didn't want something too dark. Um, as I say, you, you can wear it on its own. What I like to do is, is to blend my lipstick so that oh, you just get a different color, I suppose, and to get to the shade that you want because you might find something too pink or something too brown. So it is quite nice to be able to blend them. But as I say, you could wear that on its own or put a slick of gloss over it and off you go. The other one that I'm sharing with you is Warm and Cozy, also a Maybelline lipstick. You can see it there slightly pinker color um, it's very pretty it's actually quite a deep sort of browny pink and I find it gives a nice pop of color on your lips um, day or night so we're just going to pop a bit of that over as I say if you're happy with that and the, the one thing I like about the navy lipsticks they are very moisturizing so you don't necessarily need to wear glass it's only if you actually did want to or if you want a little bit of a shimmer over it now the glass that I actually, it's the first um, time I'm using it, is a um, Stila Lip Glaze. And I, the first time I've tried their products, so yeah, it's a new one for me. Um, <laughs> the trick with these is, is actually how to use them. It's, it's quite a difficult thing. You have to turn it up at the end and it pushes the glass out the top. is very glossy and the color of this is cranberry so you can see it's got that very juicy nice really pink color it looks lovely with um, red as well but I do quite like it over pinks or browns so it just lifts it that little bit more and gives it obviously a bit of sparkle so those are my some of my choices for colors for winter um, as I said those are a few of them I will be sharing a few more with you and um, I don't know if you remember a little while ago, I, I shared a blog about the um, a MAC red lipstick, which I found amazing. I struggled to actually find um, something in red, which um, somebody suggested I try the MAC, and it's actually fantastic. So I'll do a little tutorial on actually how to apply a red lipstick, because it's not one of the, the easiest things to do. But thank you for watching, and I hope it was helpful and you enjoyed it. And hope to see you again soon. Thanks so much, channel. Bye.